So if you are in the market for an eSIM and you have come across Arelo, but it seems a little bit difficult to use, this is the perfect video for you. I'll show you exactly how to use Arelo on iPhone, from purchasing your eSIM to activating it, I have got you covered in this video. So make sure to watch until the end so that you don't miss any necessary steps. Now if you want to download the Arelo app on your iPhone or Android, or you want to open the Arelo website, you can do that with my affiliate link down in the description. If you do make a purchase through that link, I will earn a small commission, but it's of no additional cost to you, and it will help support the channel. So click on the link down in the description to get started with Arelo. Then after you download the app, you will have it on your phone, and you just want to go and open the app. Now when you initially open the app, you will see this right here. So as you can see, you can save up to 10 times with eSIMs from Arelo. You can get data packs in over 200 countries and regions. And you can use the eSIM function, of course. It's easy to set up and I'll show you exactly how you can actually do that on your iPhone. And then just go and click on start now right here. Now the first thing you will see is this right here. So you will see local eSIMs, regional eSIMs and global eSIMs. Now basically the way this works is that the local eSIMs is per country. So that's an eSIM that you can only use in that country. For example, if I would click on the UK right here, United Kingdom, and purchase an eSIM there, then I can only use that eSIM in the UK. Now if you select a regional eSIM, you can use it in one of these regions. Africa, Asia, Caribbean islands, or one of these other ones. And then finally, you can also get a global eSIM. And of course, a global eSIM can be used all over the world. Now, basically, the prices go from local is the lowest, then regional is more expensive, and global is the most expensive. So I'll show you an example. For example, if I click on Turkey right here in local eSIMs, you can see that for one gigabyte of data, the price is only $4.50. Now compared to regional right here, if I would select Africa, you can see one gigabyte is already $27. So it's a lot more expensive. Now it does kind of differ per country and region. For example, if I select Asia, you can see one gigabyte is only $5. So there is a big difference in what country and region you actually pick. But if you pick global, for example, then one gigabyte is nine US dollars. So basically the more specific you can purchase your eSIM, the cheaper it will be. So if you're traveling to only one country, I would recommend you to purchase a local eSIM for that country. Now, if you are, for example, traveling across a continent, let's say you are traveling across Europe, then I would get a regional eSIM. And then in that case, that would, of course, be Europe. Now, if you are traveling across different regions or continents, so you're really traveling across the globe, then you want to select a global eSIM, since that is then the only one that is possible. You can see in this specific one, for example, you get coverage in 124 countries. Now, if you want to see exactly if your countries are included in that, you can click on the amount of countries, and you can see the supported countries right here. So there's 124 countries right here that you can use this global eSIM in. So you know best where you are traveling, but for this example, I will say I am traveling across Europe, so I will go into different countries in Europe. Therefore, I'm going to select a regional eSIM for Europe. Now here they have different types of eSIMs. So the main difference most of the time is the amount of data that you get. Now you also see the validity and the price. So the validity is seven days and that is from the moment that you activate it. So if you purchase it now and activate it in three months, then from the time in three months, you will have seven days. So it's not when you purchase it, but when you actually use it, the validity starts. So just make an estimation of how much data you will need. For example, usually I use about 10 gigabytes per month. So I will select 10 right here, but you can do all the way up to 100 gigabytes but I'm going to select 10 and you can see the validity here also goes up to 30 days. So that's also important. For example, if you are traveling for more than seven days, then you should probably not pick this one, but perhaps you should pick this one because this one will be valid for 30 days. Now for this example, I will just purchase the cheapest one because I'm not actually traveling, but you just want to select one that best applies to you. So I'm going to pick this one right here. So you can simply click on the card of the eSIM and then you will get into this screen right here, where you will again see the coverage, data, validity, and price. Again, you can click on the coverage countries to see which countries are included. So these are all European countries. 
Now when you scroll down a little bit, you actually see the available top-up packages. So if you do run out of the amount of data that you purchase, you can always have one of these top-up packages. For example, I can purchase another gigabyte for another $5. I can do three gigabytes for $13. So basically, if you don't have enough data, you can always purchase more. But the more you purchase at once, the cheaper it is. So for now, I will just purchase this one right here and show you how you can activate this. Now, if you pick a different continent, a different region, or you even pick a global eSIM, then these steps are still the same. So I'll show you exactly how to do it. What you want to go and do is click buy. And now you will be prompted to create an account. If you already have an account, you can simply log in right here, but I don't have an account yet. So I will click on sign up. And here you can simply sign up manually by entering all of these details, or you can use Apple, Facebook, or Google. I'm going to be using Google. So I've now created my account. And now you can see right here, it will show a payment method. So right now for me, it's set to Apple Pay, which for me is very convenient. But if for you, you don't want to use Apple Pay, or you cannot, then you can click on change right here. And then in my case, you can also choose a credit or debit card, PayPal or Alipay. Now for me, I will just select Apple Pay. So once you have chosen your payment method, you can scroll down a little bit until you see before completing this order, please confirm your device is eSIM compatible and network unlocked. So if you're not sure, you can click on learn more right here. So you can see how do I check if my iOS device supports eSIM. Now here for iPhone, open the settings app, then tap general, then about, then tap the model number until it changes to this type of combination. Then you need to verify that the model number of your iPhone does not originate from a Chinese region. The information can be found if you click on the link right there. And then you will see if the model number does not match any of the China mainland, Hong Kong, or Mao Cao devices, your device should be eSIM compatible. Next, find out if your iPhone is carrier locked or unlocked by following these steps below. So again, open the settings app, then tap general, then tap about, and scroll and look for the carrier lock field. Your iPhone is unlocked if no SIM restrictions appear next to the carrier lock. So I will just find this right now. So again, open up settings, then here scroll down a bit until you see general and click general. From here, click about. And for me, it shows network provider lock, no SIM restrictions. So it may look a little bit different because in the example, it said carrier lock. For me, it says network provider lock, but you will see there are no SIM restrictions right here. So then you can go back to Arelo. And now what you want to do is just close this. And if everything is okay for you, you can actually go in and confirm that your device is eSIM compatible by ticking the box and then click on pay in the bottom. And then you will see this right here. Thank you for your order. And you will see what you have ordered. And now what you can do is click view eSIM details in the bottom. So then it will take you to your eSIM right here. Now you will see warning, most eSIMs can only be installed once. If you remove the eSIM from your device, you cannot install it again. So only install it when you actually want to use it. So now I'll show you how you can actually install this eSIM. Now here there are some things you should know. First off, you need to maintain access to a stable internet connection. Then you do not interrupt the eSIM installation process. Do not delete your eSIM and complete all steps carefully. So click OK, got it. Now here you will find the steps to installing your eSIM. So step number one is to click on install eSIM and then tap continue twice and wait for a while. Your eSIM will connect to the network. This may take a few minutes. So you can see the install eSIM at the bottom. And if you click on that, then you can follow the next steps. So choose a label for your new eSIM plan. Choose primary for your default line, then tap continue. Then choose the primary you want to use with iMessage and FaceTime for your Apple ID and tap continue. Choose your new eSIM plan for cellular and mobile data, then continue. Now, if you click install eSIM at the bottom here, you can now click next then next again, and then click on install eSIM. And now to ask, do you allow to activate this new eSIM? So you want to click allow. And now you will see this. So it's activating the eSIM. And now just click on continue. And then it will be connecting to your network. So make sure that you have a stable network. Now here you will see mobile plan setup complete. Your webbing eSIM is now active on this iPhone. So click done. And now here you can choose the default line. Now what you want to do here is click on primary and click continue. 
Now here you will see iMessage and FaceTime, so choose which mobile plans you want to use with iMessage and FaceTime. I will again click primary, and then for your mobile data, choose your default line for mobile data. So again, I will click on primary and then click continue. Now you will see your eSIM has been successfully installed. So now we have done step number one, which is to install the eSIM and then to access the data. You can see right here in network, you can check the available networks. So right here you have all the countries this, that this eSIM is available in. Now currently I am in the Netherlands, so I'll just go to Netherlands. You can see you can use Vodafone and KP and Telecom. So now you know that you can use those two. And if you close this, you will see the APM is set automatically and data roaming is currently turned on. Now what you want to do is go to cellular and mobile data, then select the recently downloaded eSIM on your device, enable the turn on this line toggle, then select your new eSIM plan for cellular mobile data. Then tap network selection, disable the automatic toggle, then select the supported network manually if your eSIM has connected to the wrong network. Then you need to enable the data roaming toggle for your new eSIM plan. So I'll show you how you can do this. So if I search for mobile data right here, I can then click mobile data. And now next up, you need to follow these steps right here. So first you need to enable the turn on this line toggle. Now I've already done that. Then you must select your new eSIM plan. So right here, you will see that currently the network selection, if I click on that, it's turned to automatic. If this is turned to automatic for you, and it selects one of the networks that is not covered in your eSIM, which I showed you earlier where you can find so by clicking on the country, then you want to turn this off. And then when you turn it off, you can select your own mobile network, and then you can select one of the correct ones. Now you also want to make sure that data roaming is on, because that was one of the steps that I showed you on the Arelo app. So now we have installed our eSIM, and we now have access to the data. So again, if you want to get started with Arelo either on iPhone, Android or on the website, you can use the link down in the description. So now you know how to use Arelo on iPhone, how you can activate and install your eSIM and basically how Arelo eSIMs work for iPhone. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.